how do you hire landscaping employees? In my hand, I have a manila folder with 31 pages of documents that any employee must sign before I can cut them a check, before they can work for me, correct? I'll talk more about that in a second here. So basically go on indeed.com and zip recruiter and create profiles and create job postings. If you don't know how to do that, they have a help menu that'll help you do that, learn how to post these jobs and post and put $15 a day on each platform. You can also post on Facebook ads. You can do word of mouth and tell everybody that you're hiring and put the word out. And usually the right people will show up or at least ask for an interview. I'm already getting calls to my phone right now, my business line, that there's guys locally calling to see if we're hiring for the landscaping season. This is exciting because it's, it means it's good news, right? About this 31 pages. If you put an employee, if you hire an employee and you pay them cash under the table, you're running the risk of getting in trouble, especially if they get hurt and there's not work comp or anything like that. If you are doing legal business and you have articles of incorporation, then you got to follow all this other crap that's expensive and a pain in the ass, but it's a necessary evil, right? So um, what's on these 31 pages? Well, it's payroll forms, um, DMV requests to get the driving record that the employee has to sign off of, drug test, media release form, because we shoot videos and stuff like that, emergency contact form, dress code, employee handbook, pull it out. I can't show you because this is an actual employee. So I use, you can use ADP or Gusto or there's other payroll services and then you can download a lot of the forms inside of there that they would use. You can print them out. I want to convert over to digital as soon as possible so they have an iPad or a DocuSign and they could just all do it there. But there's employment uh, eligibility verification forms, withholding certificates, um, W-4, and this might seem a little overwhelming. Uh, the other option is to run them as a subcontractor, but if you do that, we've heard all these arguments online of how you can get in trouble if they're not an actual subcontractor, correct? Subcontractor has to have their own business and own insurance that you show your insurance agency so that when they audit you at the end of the year, which they do every year, you will, uh, oh yeah, confidentiality agreement is basically a gag order <laughs> so they can't go and slander your name and your company afterwards um, application for employment and all that stuff just like when you go and get a job you are now playing that role the one thing i don't like about this which i don't think any employer does is that you're becoming responsible for administering this employee you're administering all this stuff for them and it costs you time energy and money oh you have to give them a job description form and make them a job offer with a job description and then make them sign that drug testing consent form driving record check direct deposit form so you can you know put their check directly whenever you run payroll Employee information form with emergency contacts, bank deposit authorization form. You're hiring a liability. You know, my wife says, you're so negative on your videos, you need to be more positive. I'm not being negative, I'm being very realistic. One person, all, all it takes to come along and literally destroy your entire business and put you in a courtroom and all that stuff. So you have to be very, very, very careful, like who you hire and how you screen them and how you pay them and document everything that happens. When you have the right people on your team or the right employee or employees, your business feels amazing. It feels like a dream come true. There's also some great books. Um, one is called Difficult Conversations. Another book on audible.com is called Crucial Conversations. You should read about having conversations. And then another book about uh, hiring by Brad Smart it's called Top Grading. If you like this video, hit the like button. And I'll put links in the description below to all my resources at keithkelfis.com slash resources. Check it out. Wishing you all the success and confidence in your business ventures. Real quick, I do have the Untrapped podcast on all major platforms, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, um, Anchor FM. Just go type in the Untrapped podcast with Keith Kelfis and you can listen while you work. And Quick little plug here, I have a new partner, Ballard Products. If you need any type of lawnmower and weed whip, it, accessories for your business and safety gear, all this stuff, check out Ballard Products. I'll put a link below. It was a genius slash Ballard Products. You can save 10% off of anything you get during the checkout with the promo code 
Keith 10.